Roy. Bernie's the DJ in this karaoke jar. He's got the moves and a voice that can annoy. Oh, yeah. He spins the records, keeps the party alive. But don't you dare chat, you'll feel his job. He'll feel his job. He's a grumpy old man with a wit so fast There's one-liners You know the last If you ask for a request He'll roll his eyes Bernie's got no time for your sorry try Bernie's the DJ Don't you talk to him Don't you talk He's got no patience Won't let you in Bernie's the DJ He's got the beat but he's grumpy and hilarious Ain't that sweet oh, oh, oh. And we're live Now it's an AI generated intro made by Dala I made the video part but he made the song part You'll feel his job He's a grumpy old man With a wit so fast His one-liners You know they'll last Ooh, yeah If you ask for a request He'll roll his eyes I'll roll my eyes But he's got no time For your sorry try And welcome to our live feed here. This is the uh, time where we do the bullshit part. That song was a contribution from... <laughs> who is also... He's not here, though. Maybe in the future, one day. We'll have Dala here, but not this week. So as we always, we're here live. Um, as I have a couple of guests who are currently eating. I'm waiting for them to move over to their seats as they finish their food. But in the meanwhile, if you have any comments or anything, we can answer any questions. Let's see if I can see anything here. Oh, look, it's uh, Miguel's on here. You know the Miguel, if you you can still make it over here. Doors open, just come in. Like the Kool Aid man, go hey Kool Aid. Come with your shirt off or do the ninja thing. Again, these guys are eating, so let's uh, catch you up here. We're, as always, we do trivia. We're going to start at 7. I'm waiting for them to sit down so we can talk shit here. Let's see what it says here. I'm eating now. I'll wash up quick. ¿Qué tú tienes que lavar? Again, music is always provided by uh, Facebook's uh, copyright-friendly music that we're allowed to play on here. Need music for online uh, stuff? Go to Facebook. They got all kinds of stupid stuff we can use. And how much, uh, when these guys sit here, I'm going to ask the question, but how much you want to bet that Betty gets online at uh, 7.55 and goes, oh, I missed it. I've come to realize okay. that pita. <laughs> She's on her phone, but she can't see the video. She's actually here. Maybe you can't see the video. Can you see the video over there? Betty, Betty can't see the video. She can hear us, but she can't see us.
All right, we got our our first guest sitting down now. Got our first guest sitting down now, which it's is me, Mario. And let's just wait for our other guys to get it back over here. You hear me fine on your side? You talking to your mic to make sure? Is it on? Oh, do the switch then. See. Oh, wait up, wait up. There we go. I got it, I got it here. Turn it on. Check, check. There we go. Mario's on now. Now tell Beatriz what you were saying. Beatriz, por favor. <laughs> Figure out the video. Oh, she put, woohoo, it works. <laughs> and now, our birthday boy is here. Llega la ciudad que progresa, Ariel Joyería, el que más cash paga por tu prenda, ahora también en Hialeah. Ariel, el joyero dado, el que paga más. Estoy seguro, un diamante si tú quieres brillando. Tu joya perdida encontrará bailando. En su tienda llena de canto, cada tesoro valioso en tu canto. El brillo de tus ojos se refleja. AI is a motherfucker. <laughs> that was AI. That was AI. That was amazing. Check your mic. Mic check. All right. Check one. That was incredible. Yeah. I've been making all kinds of stuff. I got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Did you hear how I went like, ah, it was crazy. It was like the immigrant song with salsa. I got one for that guy, Alfred, now. Let's see. Alfred walks down the street feeling kind of small. <laughs> Wishing he had a theme song. One that stuns them all. He's just an ordinary guy. Which name's so big, but no one's writing that melody. Is that? Wow. Alfred, the bald guy that's no, always there. I know, I know. Yeah, he works at FIU. Yeah. Yeah. Is that wow. his new song? That's his song. He's always complaining he doesn't have a song. He's like, oh, now you have a song. It's about Alfred who doesn't have a song. <laughs> Incredible. We just made a Midwest emo song about me. I you know. know. We did. I wonder if you would be able to hear it here. You wouldn't be. It would sound like shit. It's crazy. It's crazy. Grumpy, Grumpy melodies. melodies. <laughs> that suits me. That's you. Let's see what else I got here. I got oh, wrong mouth. See, I said I was gonna get confused. I got one for this one and one for that one. For this, one. this is a uh, crispy bacon. Wow. Oh, it's very. This like, is like very th tailored. This is it. This is. You don't have to do anything anymore. Nope, no, no. And this one is for Alex at the garrison. This one's for Sue. Sue was a wildflower, <laughs> born in the heart of the South, with a heart as fiery as the whiskey. I I made one for Regal whenever he makes coffee. Short and sweet. Like a commercial with a tiny <laughs> like, <yeah, right. laughs> Everyone gets a theme 
theme song. <laughs> yeah, you can't complain anymore. Like, you don't even have to. It's just, oh, you want a theme song? You want a theme song? Give me a second. I made one for Chris Callis. He complained. I don't like it. I'm like, well, then you don't get a theme song now. Now you really don't get a theme song. Now you really don't get a theme song because I made you a theme song. You didn't like it. You like Crystal? That's your people. I don't know who Crystal is. <laughs> Crystal, Crystal is. Is that clear, Crystal? Are we clear? Are we clear? Crystal. Let's see, let's see, hold on. Yeah. Talk among yourselves. Thank you for the bon mi sandwich. Dude, really good stuff. It's, it was like a soup, but in a sandwich. Soup in a sandwich. It was a lot of cilantro. It was like a taco. Is that like a new trend? I don't know. I feel like I've seen like a French onion soup sandwich somewhere on Instagram. That's probably really good. Wow. It's like a grilled cheese. I guess. Yeah. With <laughs> <laughs> like a soupy right. dumpling. Which is you bite the sandwich. All right, wh- what kind of music does Crystal like? Crystal? Oh, she knows. She likes, she likes salsa, right? She sings fans. No. No, you know, like, uh, what is it? What is that? Ballads. She looks like emo music, but, you know, like Miley Cyrus or something. Miley. Yeah, but I can't say Miley Cyrus. It has to be, like, a general. Just put pop. Like, okay. Like pop. Indie pop. Cool pop. Actually, dive bar actually, pop. You know Put Crystal, dive bar Crystal pop. Crystal loves like rap, you know. Crystal loves like Biggie and Tupac, you know. He does like that. Uh, what else do we put about her? That she's short. That <laughs> she's a creative writer, you know, a poet, a published poet. A little shorty for sure. Loves that uh, firecracker shrimp. She's Brazilian jiu-jitsu. That's right. That's too much. That's too much. It's too much. <laughs> this, I don't want to spend the whole half hour trying to come up with crystals. <laughs> yeah, do I get a new intro? I like you it. got the best intro that everybody loves. I know. <laughs> I know. I don't want to lose mine. I've had people stop me. Like, Where did that come from? Where did you get that? <laughs> I, go, I put two things together. I made one. This thing is being made as we speak. Crystal's intro is being let's see. Let's see. It might suck. <laughs> it might suck. Nano. No. Oh, look who's here! What the fuck is this shit? That's what is this? Is this like? <laughs> it's for you. It's for. Let's sing happy birthday. Come on. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Oh, I'm so used to sing. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday. Queda la ciudad que progresa. Ariel Joyería, el que más cash paga por tu prenda. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Blow it out. Oye, por favor, Ariel. Coño, Ariel, un poquito más fuerza, you know? Okay, all right, all right. All right. You gotta do it. Con gusto! <laughs> Con gusto! Thank you. Thank you very much. That was unexpected. Yes, it's I a surprise. I was ready to fight somebody <laughs> when you came out. I thought it was Miguel. Was... All right, let's slide, let's slide a space there. Yeah. You know, I You guys talk while I go move things. I didn't even realize that there was a third thing. I didn't even realize. Chuck, Chuck. Wow. Wow. What a season. What a season it's been. What? It's good times to be alive. Uh, 20. Yeah, that's your music, right? 30 th- yeah, it is. Um, it's very moody. This is a moody one. Well, it's only supposed to be in the background, so let's lower it a little. Yeah, let's lower it a little. It's fun. It's something maybe for. Roy! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. 
Betty said, what did Betty say? Sad pop rock. That is, so you don't like it. Fuera. I like them. Sad pop rock. Uh, she's answering to all the songs we're playing. <laughs> so I'm just catching up here. Woohoo, it works. Hey, por favor, are you, uh, nah, and it worked. Happy birthday, Eddie, if you don't like it, Fuera. <laughs> Right, wait, let's lower our dead song. Just, just and let's see what comes out of this. In a world filled with stories, there's a girl named Crystal <laughs> with a pen in her and a mind so full of whimsical. She paints her. That's one option. Then there's this option. In a world filled with stories, there's a girl named Crystal with a pen in her hand <laughs> and a mind so full of whimsical. Is that good? Those are two options we have. This is happy. It's very T-Swift. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Put out the edge music right now. Oh, boy. <laughs> feels like, it, it feels like the star hustler. Keep reaching for the stars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. What, what Adriana? I'll do it. I got to make it for everybody. <laughs> yeah, everyone needs one. Your redheaded stepchild. What the fuck? Amazing. It's a cookie cake. It's a good way to dinosaur on it. I was like, this is surely going to catch fire. If this thing falls, <laughs> it's all. <laughs> Thanks oh, he, he Miguel, Miguel says he's going to make a quick stop. I'm going to tell him to come no into the. No way. Well, I'm going to tell him to come through the front door. Get the back doors. This is like a, oh, a, a special. This um. is <laughs> your dad's coming. My dad's coming? Yeah, he's your dad. <laughs> he's my dad. He's my karaoke dad. Wow. Come through the front door. Because he's on a, <laughs> if he burst in like a like Kool-Aid man, he's going to hit Sarah. <laughs> come in like a wrecking ball. He's going to come in like yeah. a wrecking ball. I told him, <laughs> come in with your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> with the Kathy shirt. With the Kathy shirt. Uh, 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 it's right. Kathy! There it is. <laughs> I thought that was actually him. <laughs> you can hear her too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I went there the other night and they're like, Kathy! What? <laughs> what do you want, Bernie? <laughs> well, you sit wherever you want. Well, I'm not sitting. I just want a milkshake. I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy is a Westchester icon. They should, they should change the sign in the Denny's to Westchester. In like the Hall of Fame of Westchester, Westchesterites, there's Bernie, there's Kathy. Who else? Sarah's still an IHOP person. Oh. All day. I'll say it with my chest. They don't have a Kathy. They do have a Sonic menu. Though, which but they don't have a Kathy. That, that's what's sweet because the, um, when these kids finish the Little Shop of Horrors at Coral Park, uh, you know they have the cast closing party and they, they have dinner. And there was a whole vote of either Denny's or IHOP or BJ's or Fuddruckers. Yeah, BJ's over by. The oh, international. Right? Yeah. Where'd they go? IHOP. And I kept pushing, push for, push for. Because I, I would love to hear Kathy say, you know, her freak out when 70 kids walk in together. Because it involves. Marissa, would you help? <laughs> Put some tables together. <laughs> and her sister. Yeah, uh, reinforcements. Yeah. See, if I would have known that was, ha I would have left the garrison fast. <laughs> How was the little shop? It, from what I heard, it was good. Mm. Mm. The two different casts, I saw one cast. Mm -hmm. Then the, the closing night was a different cast, so. Sarah was a theater kid, huh? Did you do little shop of horrors? Uh, I did not, no. <laughs> what did you do? I, in elementary school, I did Wizard of Oz. Did you I do Annie? I did not. <laughs> 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 mm. Missed opportunity, I think. Yeah. So you did uh, Wizard of Oz, anything else? Um, and then I, in high school, I did stage managing. That's uh, what I, I wasn't That's what she the does. Stage. There, it's perfect. Wherever she is. I think she fell asleep. She understands. She was the assistant stage manager on this side, and the original, the real stage manager was busy because he's dating the director, so the <laughs> she actually <laughs> was everywhere. the stage manager. <laughs> And I have to hear about all these like high school gossip and all this stuff. It never ends. I wish. What? I wish 
I was a I was a fish in a Little Mermaid place as uh, I was a fish in a <laughs> <I was> a <laughs> fish. <laughs> I was a fish. <laughs> Very flowery says uh, Puma. I did. Nice. I was a fish in a Little Mermaid place. Which fish were you, Betty? <laughs> Generic fish, fish number three. <laughs> Flounder. <laughs> That's that fish. This is a big difference. Mm-hmm. Yeah, speaking line. I was Santa Claus in that bunch of Were you really? Little Saint Nick. <laughs> little Saint Nick. Little Saint Nick. Is that the Beach Boys? Yeah. yeah. I think so. <laughs> they just had me. If Benjamin's watching, he'll sure as hell tell us. <laughs> Just had me in the corner working on my sled while they had these little reindeer dancing, you know. This this music of yours is getting dramatic. This is it's epic. It's very epic. dramatic. It is royalty free. This is like <laughs> third act. Well, I haven't I haven't been kicked off Facebook yet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Puma says he was in a band. Is it Puma and the <laughs> and the turkeys? <laughs> I was a generic fish number for the under the sea. <laughs> let's see. That was flashback by Night Raptor. Yeah. Now let's hear Crash Land oh by boy. Night Raptor. <laughs> it's, it's all pretty dramatic stuff, guys. <laughs> Very cinematic. Very cinematic. Yeah. What am I hearing here? Story. It's like a little. It's like a album. That's a story. There's a little, little sci-fi movie out there somewhere that I'm gonna put the music. You can make that movie. Yeah. Mm. Be it. It's, it's me, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Your ears is on the other page here, so I gotta go like this. Sarah. But we can't play it too long, because right. <laughs> We'll get shut down. Yeah, we'll shut down. <laughs> That was risky enough. Is that, me good? Is that me good? That might be me good. Is the door not locked? Oh, shit. Miguel, if it's you, <laughs> knock twice. It is. It's him. Okay. Oh, she's like, did you lock the door? <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll totally smile. There he is. Oh. With an Amazon what? package. <laughs> With an Amazon package? <laughs> 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 I didn't know you worked for Amazon. <laughs> hey, look, it's... Oh, that might be copyright, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> look, look who's here, everybody. Look who's here, everybody. He came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> it's like, uh, all we need is to say calm laughter mm-hmm. and the cheering. Pull up a chair. Mm-hmm. Make yourself at home. Grab another chair. We don't have another pair of headphones, though. I don't want to disrupt the boys' night. No, no, no. He's leaving the pool league. Just stay. Me too. He's going. That's He's here. He's here to make an appearance and eat some of that cake. Oh yeah, all the utensils and everything outside. Oh, you have utensils, like, everything outside? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't want to burn down the house. Burning down. Well, I don't know if we can sing that. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Burning down, down, down the house. Yeah, yeah. 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 different case. Spoken word. <laughs> Did somebody hand him a mic? <laughs> Is that the second camera? You gotta say, if you're gonna make any uh, song references, you gotta give credit to the artist. Oh right? my god, there it goes. No, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> I want that, I want that. There she brought the plates. <laughs> plates, plates are here. And we need a knife, I guess. A knife? I have. <laughs> need a knife? <laughs> no, it's okay. I totally have You're it. off camera now, you can run outside. The camera's on Miguel right now. Go back, I. Oye, tira un pedo al micrófono a ver cómo suena. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> that sound. Tremendo personaje que llegó, dice. It's quite the cast. <laughs> Tremendo cast. Where are, you, where are you playing tonight? I'm playing a new wave. New wave. And uh, let's get rid of Crash Land and go to Holiday Nights. I figured I'd stop oh, in before, because uh, next week I'm, I'm not going to be around. 
And where are you going to be, Miguel? I'm going to Vegas. Woo! Oh, he's going to Vegas. That's right. He's going to Vegas. Miguel takes Vegas. I love is Vegas. That new, is that the new porno? Morning. <laughs> Miguel takes Vegas. I love Vegas. Mi- Miguel does Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> no. I ain't catching shit over there. <laughs> It's not true. What's the, what you get in Vegas doesn't stay there. I heard somebody else is going to be there. Roy! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. He might be looking for Sabrina over there or something. I don't know. She's not on here for some reason. I thought she would be. Ah, de cara. Hmm. I, said, I asked her, is your hiatus include online uh, trivia? Mario has a great intro. <clears throat> oh, he played clarinet. Did Puma play clarinet? <laughs> nerd <laughs> Fucking nerd, nerd. I, I knew I was in band Was a little too good You know <laughs> Miguel reacted But <laughs> when do you react You're right here I did that from, I did that from the house <laughs> I just drove, drove fast over here <laughs> You beat the The reaction <laughs> I guess so You're faster I did. than reaction time yeah, here are the other here are the other people. Is that cake getting cut? Uh, I said I'll be done with that cake. I said I'll be done with that cake. But you're going to cut the cake, right? Oh, there you go. You just like to put all the stuff. Ahí está Garcelo cagando en el cake. No puede dar un plato ahí, hacer. Hacer un platico. Un platico. See why this tripod came in handy? I, didn't, I wasn't expecting Miguel. I just needed to do this so that when she came in. I know you weren't expecting me. That's why I made a surprise. Oh, yeah. Surprise visit. But I could do this and we can. it won't be like just her neck down. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this guy. Roy. Soplaron la vela. Llegué tarde. Llegué tarde. Ya soplaste la vela. Tú no estabas viendo online. Oh, Dios mío. No, yo no estaba mirando. Yo estaba comiendo. En tu pantallita ahí en el carro. Now he's gonna cut the. Who's gonna cut, who cut the? What is the rule? The birthday boy cuts. The birthday boy cuts the first okay. slice, and then passes it off to he be. Can cut it all, or he can pass it on to somebody else to cut. Hmm. Exactly. Is that that gonna make any? Oh, you don't know how to cut that cake, chico. I was just gonna cut like this. You don't have to see me. Your family has a restaurant. Ay, Maria, mira este. Con cerveza cristal. Cristal. Why is Cristal not here on the line? Line, you know, you're asking for her theme song, but she's not even watching us. Uno. Which is this one? Goliath. Goliath. I need that red 40, bro. Give me the red blue. Who made the cake? <laughs> El Publi. El Publi. Oh. Tremendo cocinero no, en El Publi. Yo no creo que hace falta tenedor para esto. No, verdad. Esto es un cookie. Es como una pizza. ¿Qué pizza ni pizza? Pizza cubana de cookie. Okay. <laughs> this is basically what Cuban pizza looks like. Hey, hay curda ahí adentro. Hay curda. In the, fr- in the cooler. Ah. En El Culo hay una cerveza. <laughs> hay varias cervezas. <laughs> I'm going to wait if this doesn't uh, trigger the problem I had earlier. <laughs> but it's bad luck not to eat the cake. You got the yellow one, yeah? Hey, Betty, go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and go ahead We have one plate left. I got more plates. Let me clean up this mess. While we eat, take off our music here, Opas. Yeah, <laughs> Let's skip to the next one there. No, we can't play that. Why? Copyright. But you're playing and say, here's a song. No, no, no I can't. You can't. You can't play it. That's mm. copyright friendly music. Casa mierda. Casa mierda, I know. We play this shitty music we play. Casa mierda. Or do you think we're playing Ariel's music? 
it's uh, less shitty. Viejo, what are you? Donde paga más por tu prendas. Oh, you heard it. You weren't here. Let me. Before I go, it switches over. So now it's this. Llega a la ciudad que progresa. Ariel Joyería, el que más cash paga por tu prenda, ahora también en Hialeah. Ariel el joyero dado, el que paga más. Estoy seguro, un diamante si hubieras brillando. Tu joya perdida encontrará bailando. En su tienda llena de canto, cada tesoro valioso en canto. El brillo de tus ojos se refleja. Rico has one too. Yeah. That was one of the best ones that came out. Which one? The that Ariel one. The, yeah, it sounds. I was like, what is this shit? All right, I'm turning off these mic. Your mics. And my mic. Wednesday. It's the last Wednesday of the month. And it's time now for home, home, home. Trivia. 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 If you're home watching us, grab a bucket, grab the little garbage can in the bathroom, whatever you have, whatever you need. We're going to start playing our trivia game right now, so go grab anything you need. I have a bunch of people here right now. Four people actually right now to be exact. We don't even have enough headphones for everybody and microphones. <laughs> So grab a bucket, grab whatever you need. Let's get started with tonight's game. And let's put the music back on. Oh, wrong mouse. Like I said, I'm going to confuse the mice. There's your bucket. You guys can make a team. I was talking where I was. Here, intro video. and Okay, here we go. Like I was saying, it's home trivia. It's Miguel's here, actually. <laughs> He's the one in the picture there. He, hold on, let me turn on the mics again. Okay, you're back on. Yes, sir. And let's get started by going over the rules of tonight's game. As always, there's a one-player minimum in order to play because you have to be at least one human being in order to be playing this game. No. Grab three sheets of paper, number them one through ten. Any funny team names you can come up with, write it in the comments. I'll try to see if I catch it, or one of these guys watching on their phones will let me know what it is so I can read it. Anything works, well, I'll read it out loud, no matter how inappropriate or how stupid it is. Feel free to scream and shout the answers if you're home, not you guys, because you're here. And there's people sleeping, so don't scream. You know that they don't pay. No looking up the answers. If you know the answer, please don't post the answers. Let the other people playing figure it out on their own. Questions round one are worth one point each. Questions round two are worth two points each. Questions round three are worth five points each. Remember, you're playing with yourself, so you would only be cheating yourself if you post the answers. First place, you get nothing. Second place, you get nothing. But if you can take a picture of yourself while playing and post it on uh, your social media, either Instagram or Facebook, or whatever, and tag at Trivia Miami, I'll try to reshare it as soon as I see it. You still get me a duck. <laughs> Here's our legal disclaimer. If you're going to be small and fast, you can read that thing. Oh, read it. And it's I gone. And again, any little bit helps. Throw a little bit of my way. That's the Venmo. That's the Cash App. I also have Fart App. <laughs> Winners this month over at the Garrison were uh, Mr. J and the Outlaws, or whatever they called themselves that week. And then there was the week that Miguel went. And then Alex won the third week. Of course, that third week, nobody showed up. So it was just by default almost. 
Uh, remember, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, we're at Seven Seas Bar. Fridays at the Garrison. We're back at Bar Nancy this Sunday, at least at least this Sunday. Next Wednesday, we'll be back at the Garrison for trivia in person. We're doing Star Wars trivia, trivia, and karaoke, starting at eight o'clock. I already have that game put together. Just got to finish it up a little bit, but we're doing Star Wars trivia. I'm gonna bring all my Star Wars toys with me, so we'll decorate the whole bar and all that. Then we're also doing Cinco de Mayo Sunday over there at the Garrison on Cinco de Mayo. The first Tuesday of the month, we're doing 80s night over at Seven Seas. Second Tuesday is emo night. And then I haven't put the flyers up, but then the third Tuesday is going to be classic rock, and the fourth Tuesday is going to be golf uh, slash new wave. Only one emo night a month. God. What happened to the emo music? Se what happened to the emo people? Se fueron a comer emo. Se fueron a comer un emo. <laughs> they look for an emu. Emu, emu. And Doug. And Doug. All right, let's uh, take our first uh, commercial break. And we'll, and we'll be right back. I love this song. What station is that? Coast, 97.3 FM. Great. Ooh. Alberto does it again. With my European studying hairspray. The ultra-fine mist sprays on evenly for super hold that won't let your styles go. New Alberto European hairspray with ultra-fine mist. For new super hold. I have found my new car. The Chrysler Le Baron series for 1982. They are like no other cars in America, Europe, or Japan. No other car combines Le Baron's high mileage, luxury, and sit six. Le Baron has better mileage than every gasoline-powered Mercedes-Benz, Audi 5000, or Toyota Cressida. Lee Iacocca's dream to combine high mileage and luxury is a reality at a surprising price. The 1982 Chrysler Le Baron series. My new car. And we're back. And they're back. And we're down to three. Miguel left. So he ran out that way. And I heard him say that. Let's open up their mics. Felipe says he'll be in town for Cinco de Mayo. Let's see who else. Uh, Puma said dot, 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 dot. And Betty seriously is thinking about showing up here. I, 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 I don't know. I don't have a pass for two. <laughs> I, got, I, I had an exception made. <laughs> we do have a all boys, uh, no girls rule here. Hmm. All right, let's get started with tonight's game. It's time now. If we were in person, I would tell you time now to put your phones in the buckets, but you need your phone in order to watch this because most people don't even get on their laptops. They use their phones or tablets, so whatever. It doesn't matter. There's no prizes. Just do whatever you got to do. Let's get started with round one. Question one. True or false? Brian De Palma received a Razzie nomination for Scarface. True or false? Mm. And I will continue eating the rest of this cookie. Mm. Mm. What the hell is a Razzie? Like the for negative bad for bad movies. Oh. The Golden Raspberries. That's Who does great. that? Is that like MTV does that or something? No, they've been around since 1980. But what network does that? They don't do it on TV. Oh. <laughs> it's a really good cookie. It's worth the consequences that may happen. Question two. In the South Park episode, Trapped in the Closet, who initially locked himself in Stan's closet and refused to come out? <laughs> in the South Park episode, Trapped in the Closet, who initially locked himself in Stan's closet and refused to come out? Uh, back to the Razzies. The Razzies were created in 1980 after the release of the movies Can't Stop the Music and Xanadu with Olivia Newton John. They considered those movies so bad that they thought that there should be an award for the worst movies. Because those two movies were. Now, the Can't Stop the Music is the Village People movie, which also has Bruce Jenner pre Caitlin. Way pre. When he was still friends with OJ. Wow. <laughs> I love Xanadu. I love Xanadu. I have, I have the vinyl. ELO. <laughs> Somewhere. I mean. Question three. On Sex in the City, which one of the main characters had a baby on the show? A, Carrie, B, Charlotte, or C, Miranda? Okay, and on Sex in the City, which one of the main characters had a baby on the show? Carrie, Charlotte, or Miranda? I don't list the fourth one because she was too old to get pregnant anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, Miranda sounds like someone. Did have a baby? Tomorrow. 
Miranda Mars. I don't know. <laughs> Same letter. I don't know. I don't know this. I've only ever seen one episode of South Park in my whole life. The world, really? The World of Warcraft one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For obvious reasons. I mean, I haven't watched every South Park, but I have seen that one. The Scientology one is one of the best ones. That is the West Scientology one. Yeah, it was. They were not able to play anymore because they got sued. Yeah, and that's why they lost Chef. They lost Chef, and that's why they had to kill him mm-hmm. and then bring him back. <laughs> All right, question four: What gemstone is the traditional gift for a 20th wedding anniversary? I, I need this. I need to know this for real. <laughs> <laughs> like before July uh, 10th. And Puma says great episode. I guess he's talking. I, I assume he's talking about the South Park episode yeah. and not about the Sex in the City episode. <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Cream, and then the artist says Irish. <laughs> <laughs> Irish cream. Irish cream. Awesome. I don't know this. Do you guys know this? This is crappy music. Oh, Irish the cream. answer. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Question five. Key Rock, the simple-minded caveman lawyer, was played by what comedian on SNL in the 90s? Key Rock, the simple-minded caveman lawyer, was played by what comedian on SNL in the 90s? I'm just a simple-minded lawyer. I'm a caveman. says, I'm such a carry. (laughs) (laughs) Question six. In 2005, God of War was released exclusively for which game console? A PlayStation, B Nintendo, or C Xbox? In 2005, God of War was released exclusively for which game console? PlayStation, Nintendo, or Xbox? <laughs> All right, question seven. What NFL team moved into Soldier Field in 1971? What NFL team moved into Soldier Field in 1971? If you haven't noticed, uh, Ariel is sponsored by Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Live mass. Are you allowed to do that? What? <laughs> <laughs> I think he, by osmosis, see, he said, when I told him I wasn't able to go get food today to, to bring whatever you needed, he said, do you want Taco Bell? And I said, no, I'm okay. And he shows up wearing a Taco Bell shirt. So. It's all connected. It's all connected. <laughs> it's AI. Question eight. What does the comic book character Galactus eat? What does the comic book character Galactus eat? You know that one, right? Yeah, you do. I do. Okay. But the only South Park episode you ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. Oh, yeah, you do. do you, why are you lying, man? <laughs> you trying to make it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to flex on Facebook. Like, those are guys. <laughs> I don't know what this fake rap song is. <laughs> this song is I don't know. It's J. Cole. <laughs> they have Moha. Con gana. <laughs> All right, question nine. Which is the only Fast and the Furious movie to not feature Vin Diesel? A, Too Fast, Too Furious, the second one. B, Tokyo Drift, the third one. Or C, Fast and Furious, the fourth one. Which is the only one to not feature Vin Diesel. He's not in that one. Come on. I don't see. Really? I'll be not a No way, dude. See, wait. Well, it's not that one. It's not the other one. Does this include post credit scenes? Oh, no. <laughs> Why do I feel like it's... 
some division here. <laughs> I'm gonna trust you. He pops up at the end. I'm sorry. Spoilers, bro. On a movie that's 20 years old. <laughs> <laughs> he pops uh. up like Phil Coulson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, finally, question 10, everybody's favorite category. Florida! 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 Florida, 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 Florida. I'm going to read a news headline. You need to let me know if you think it's Florida or not Florida. The only two possible answers are Florida or not Florida. Here's the headline. Man legally named these nuts is arrested <laughs> in domestic altercation. Again, man legally named these nuts is arrested in domestic altercation. Is that Florida or not Florida? <laughs> I hate life so much. That's Minnesota or something. <laughs> Would you do that to yourself? Um. You know what he said? Ah! That's what he said. <laughs> and as always, for fun, my favorite uh, added question, the bonus question. Mm -hmm. If you don't know the answer, you haven't been paying attention, there are no points for this, and just for my amusement, the answer is Joe Arroyo. Which city of Miami commissioner was the only nay vote in the removal of city attorney Tricky Vicky Mendez from office? Which, was, which uh, you know what I just said. And that's, uh, you know, these guys that make fun of him and hang out and bother him are going to hang out at the season on Thursdays every other, every two weeks. Billy Corbin. Oh, yeah. Those guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told him I steal your, I steal all your little parodies for my stuff. It's like, go ahead, we steal it too. <laughs> and, I, and then I told him about Mr. Brightline. He asked me if Conductor has hit anybody, and he said, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a matter of time. It's, it's a matter of time. It's when. All right, that is the end of round one. Let's go over the questions one more time in case you missed any. Question one was true or false. Brian De Palma received a Razzie nomination for Scarface. Well, I should do it in the South Park episode, Trapped in the Closet. Who initially locked himself in Stan's closet and refused to come out? Question two, on Sex and the City, which one of the main characters had a baby on the show? A, Carrie, B, Charlotte, or C, Miranda? Question four, what gemstone is the traditional gift for a 20th wedding anniversary? Yeah. Question five, Key Rock is the simple-minded caveman lawyer. Was the, it, the simple-minded caveman lawyer was played by what comedian on SNL in the 90s? Question six, in 2005, God of War was released exclusively for which game console? A, PlayStation, B, Nintendo, or C, Xbox? <laughs> Seven, what NFL team moved into Soldier Field in 1971? Question eight, what does the comic book character Galactus eat? Question nine, which is the only Fast and Furious movie to not feature Vin Diesel? A, Too Fast, Too Furious, B, Tokyo Drift, or C, Fast and Furious? Florida or not Florida, man legally named these nuts is arrested in domestic altercation. And my Joe Carollo question, the answer is Joe Carollo. Which city of Miami commissioner was the only nay vote in the removal of city attorney Tricky Vicky Mendez from office? Please check your own answer sheet. See if these are the answers you want to stick with. That's my Venmo. That's my Cash App. I'm going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Well, then let's take off this music. Oh, yes, and always. I love this song. What station is that? Coast 97.3 FM. Great song. What station is that? It's Coast 97.3 FM. I can. I love this song. Me too. What station is that? Ever wonder what radio station you're listening to? For the most music throughout your workday, listen to South Florida's Coast 97.3 FM. The best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today with less talk. Grand Prix's new track. Grand Prix is bigger, longer, and faster. Feel the thrill of the hairpin turns. Then speed down the long straightaways. Grand Prix. Race your friends in the true spirit of Grand Prix competition racing. Feel the roar of the engines as you race the big challenge on Grand Prix Racerama. Open seven days and nights. Take I-95 or exit 12 on the turnpike. Grand Prix on 441 just south of State Road 84 in Fort Lauderdale. County Youth Fair and Exposition. Be there. Imagine the perfect video store. 
It would have a great selection, right? Right! Over 10,000 videos. Three evening rentals, so no rush, no hassle. Fast checkout. 24-hour quick drop return. Open late every night. Well, the perfect video store... Welcome to Blockbuster Video. ...is popping up all over the country. There's one near you. Blockbuster Video. Wow! And we're back. All right, let's uh, lower this. And it's time now to go back on, uh, put everybody back on camera. Everybody's ready. That That's uh, that's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and let's do the raffle. <laughs> All right, it's time to pull out your stubs. It's raffle time. I'm going to pull a fake number out of a fake bucket. Well, actually, I have a bucket here. And whatever number I read, we're all taking a shot. We'll pull out the first number. The shots are already poured right in front of me. 289, 289. Okay, everybody won. Come grab them. Somebody grab the shots. Pass them out. Pass this out. Pass one out. There we go. Mics are on. Mics are on. Mics are on. All right. You won. You all won. The people at home didn't. You lucky sons of bitches. Take a shot. The video, the gift that keeps on giving. All right, let's go over the answers from round one. Okay, question one was true or false. Brian De Palma received a Razzie nomination for Scarface. That is true. Yes. In the South Park episode, Trapped in the Closet, who initially clocked himself in Stan's closet and refused to come out? It's Tom Cruise. Oh, I thought it was George oh. Travolta. Incorrect. It's Tom Cruise. It Tom Cruise first. is in the closet and he refuses to come out. And then John Travolta shows up. They well, first R. Kelly's there saying, <laughs> we're not coming out the closet. <laughs> I'll take out my gun. <laughs> and I'll pull out my gun. <laughs> On Sex and the City, which one of the main characters had a baby? It was Miranda. <laughs> we win. <laughs> wow. What gemstone is the traditional gift for a 20th wedding anniversary? Emerald. Emerald. Wow. I'm the one that needs to know that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Rock, the simple-minded caveman lawyer, was played by what comedian in the 90s? Phil Hartman. 2005 God of War was released exclusively for which game console? It's PlayStation. PlayStation. What NFL team moved into Soldier Field in 1971? The Bears. What does the comic book character Galactus eat? Planets. Worlds. Planets. Which is the only Fast and the Furious movie to not feature Vin Diesel? It was too fast, too furious. The one filmed here in Miami. He was not at all involved in that one. He was in Tokyo Drift at the very end oh my where he God. pulls up and he says, what's up or something? And then he drives like off. <laughs> Why is he not in the second one? Money. Oh my. He was doing triple X. He was doing... And then and he didn't come back until his career went down. Then they started doing the fourth one and the fifth one and the sixth one, the seventh one. Other than that, other than this, he's got the group money and that's it, you know? He's got the witch hunter. Witch hunter. Oh, yeah, that was a great move. <laughs> <laughs> in Florida or not Florida, man legally named these nuts is arrested in domestic altercation? That was not Florida. That was in Wisconsin. Yeah, you Didn't you say Wisconsin? I said Minnesota. Well, close enough. <laughs> it's a state full of a bunch of white people. And, <laughs> and it's a, the bonus question, which is uh, the answer, as always, is... I like to play this. It's crazy, crazy Joe, 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 Joe Royal 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 He's a racist white beater and an anti-Semite. He's a wife beater, wife beater. Yeah, that's Joe Carroyo. I'm gonna make this song in the karaoke. <laughs> Loco, 
That was one of those copyright friendly songs I found that I thought was perfect for him. All right. Enough bashing, Joe Carollo. Parece jicotea. All right, these questions are worth one point each, so whatever you got right, add that up. That'll be your score. Post your score in the comments. We'll get back to you. We'll get back with the scores after the commercial. Remember, Seven Seas Bar, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Garrison, Fridays. Aww. We're back on Sunday. Uh, next week, trivia. We'll be at the Garrison with trivia and karaoke and it's Star Wars theme. All questions about Star Wars games. I mean, Star Wars movies, TV shows, everything. Cinco de Mayo at the Garrison. Uh, 80s night, uh, the first Tuesday of the month. Then the second Tuesday will be Emo Night. And then the third Tuesday will be Classic Rock. And the fourth Tuesday, <laughs> so on and so forth. Regular trivia at the Garrison. And we're here at the end of every month, last Wednesday of every month for home trivia. All right, I'll be right back. We'll be right back in a few minutes after this commercial break. Para toda la familia. Y va por el automóvil. Con lo que todos quieren ver. Y se lo llevó, se lo llevó, se lo llevó, se lo llevó. No dejes que te lo cuenten. Sábado gigante. Desde las 7.6 Centro y solo por Univisión. Waterbed City presents the medical benefits of waterbeds. Many hospitals, nursing homes, and chiropractors are using waterbeds to aid in the treatment of a variety of health problems. Here's why. A waterbed contours every natural curve of your body. It gives your body total support and proper posture. People with backaches, arthritis, and insomnia all benefit from sleeping on waterbeds. And if a Waterbed City waterbed can help all these conditions, just imagine what it can do for you. And we're back. Let's see what scores we got. If anybody bothered posting. Let's see. Da, da, da. I gotta go up here. Up, 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 up. Okay, we got. Uh, Puma said something about then R. Kelly. Yeah, that and then. But it was initially. The question said initially. And then Travolta came after, I think. Oh, snap. I got that right. But when we ha he had a few movies lined up, but people realized he was a terrible actor. That's why Vin Diesel ended up back in the past. Remember the pacifier? True story from Riseda. <laughs> On the commercial break, I got ESPN alert about Chicago building a dome stadium <laughs> next to Soldier Field. See, there's my ESP again. <laughs> True story. Well, I'll do it in the next round because the question will come up in the next round. But just say, I predicted a news item the day before it happened. You're like the Simpsons. When David Bowie died, I used him as my uh, as one of my things, and like the next day he died, back in 2016. This happened to us with uh, Jimmy Buffett, remember? Yeah. And then he passed, literally, like mm. right as we were listening to Margarita. He died as we played his song, Margaritaville. George, <laughs> George Michael died the night I did a... I well, when George Michael died, I remember making the joke, I hope this isn't his last Christmas, because I don't think Jess... <laughs> I don't think Jez can handle another one this year because that was the year like all the 80s artists started Prince, dying Prince, off. Right? Prince died that wow. year. Prince died that yeah. year. Like, and I said, this is really going to hit Jez if, if George Michael, and then George Michael died. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, for him, that's like a, yeah. <laughs> the only one left for him would be Madonna. Now. Let's see. Where were we? Where was I when this? Uh, to, I guess Soldier Field's getting a new stadium. Uh, Puma has seven points. Hey, Felipe has six. But, uh, what does it say there? Didn't Sean Connery say sometimes you just got to give him a little slap? <laughs> yeah, he did. Ariel said five, and then he said, just kidding, six. What, did you give yourself an extra point for something? It's his birthday. We'll we allow <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's taking that Fast and Furious. <laughs> All right, let's get on to round two. It's time again to, if we were in the bar, put your phones in the buckets. Don't bother. Pull your paper out. Go to the next round. One through ten, whatever. Round two, question one. What came out first, our idiot brother or dinners for schmucks, both with Paul Rudd? And sometimes both of these can be the same thing. Our idiot brother is at the dinner with all the schmucks, and he's one of them. <laughs> but which one came out first with Paul Rudd? Whoa. 
Who else is here? <laughs> Who else is here? Oh my god, it's Betty! Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> this is the best episode Hi, ever! <laughs> this feels this like is a the series best. finale. Right oh right my now. god, let me move. Hold on. Hold on, let me oh, put the, let, let's move yeah, the camera up. Obviously, somebody gave her the address. <laughs> <laughs> Up, we gotta pay her intro. Pretty Betty, well I'm ready. Pretty Betty, well I'm ready. Pretty Betty, I'm ready. Pretty Betty, well I'm ready. Pretty Betty, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm pretty sure we can't play that. Hmm. All right, let's move on to the next question. Let me put the music back on. Question two. What was the slowest the bus could go without exploding in the movie Speed? <laughs> what was the slowest the bus could go without exploding in the movie Speed? <laughs> I was about to set up all the shots for the next round. <laughs> what was the first question? I was the two movies, Dinner for Schmucks oh. or... You do it. I th- All right, question three. In the movie Pulp Fiction, what is the name of the restaurant Mia brings Vincent to? In the movie Pulp Fiction, what is the name of the restaurant Vin- uh, Mia brings Vincent to? Mario should know this. Yeah, dude. What the hell, dude? <laughs> All right, question four. It's time now for our anal bum cover. Ooh. Sorry, an album cover. Whose 2009 album is this the cover for? Just the name of the artist, not the name of the album. Whose 2009 album is that the cover for? Look, this bottle's empty. Damn. These album covers, man. Have no fear. Oh, <laughs> reloading! <laughs> Look this is your drink, then. <laughs> yeah. Just pull out of your sleeve. <laughs> this is crazy. We're gonna take two shots. What? We're gonna we're gonna do cafecito now. Plug my headphone. <laughs> oh shit! I can't hear anything right now. I think we need you on our team as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, got it. All right, question five. What internet company was once called Quantum Computer Services? What internet company was once called Quantum Computer Services? You know, I stopped using the timer with those intro. <laughs> So I'm just guessing the timing between songs, between questions. And here is the cafecito. Ah. All right, question six. Time now for a movie clip. So I'm gonna play a clip from movies released in 1988. If you know what it is, write it down. I'll play it once with just the sound and once with the words up on the screen. Listen closely. Same old story. Boy finds girl, boy loses girl, girl finds boy. Boy forgets girl, boy remembers girl. And girl dies in a tragic blimp accident over the Orange Bowl <laughs> on New Year's Day. Good year? No, the worst. Oh dear. One more time. One more time. Same old story. Boy finds girl, boy loses girl, girl finds boy. Boy forgets girl, boy remembers girl. And girl dies in a tragic blimp accident over the Orange Bowl on New Year's Day. Good year? No, the worst. Oh, dear. What movie is that from? 
Let us see how I can handle this. If somehow we could squeeze her in there. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Get a regular chair. Get the one in the kitchen. Kick the bucket. <laughs> Kick the bucket, everyone. That, one, that one's small enough we could squeeze in there. <laughs> You can go in between there. Betwixt. Her and Sarah can share that mic. Yeah, the middle one? Yeah. <coughs> Microphone. All right, question seven. What actor-director debuted his own brand of beer in the late 80s called Pale Rider Ale? What actor-slash-director debuted his own brand of beer in the late 80s called Pale Rider Ale? Now it's a really tight shot. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's there, but. Wow. Also, all kinds of rules are being broken. <laughs> well, if, if we can get out of here before. <laughs> 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 they might never find out. <laughs> Except for the video <laughs> evidence. They don't watch it. <laughs> all right, question eight. What popular 80s singer was born Patricia May Andrzejewski? What popular 80s singer was born Patricia May Andrzejewski? I will lock that door though before Helen Keller walks in or something <laughs> or Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it was a surprise. Yeah. Well, I set up that surprise. <laughs> wow. I didn't even tell him. That's true. I had no idea. Absolutely not. Patricia May. Patricia May. Andreyuski. <laughs> All right, question nine. What are the names of the two Muppet characters that heckle the rest of the cast from their balcony seats? What are the names of the two Muppet characters that heckle the rest of the characters, the rest of the, rest of the cast from their balcony seats? And it is not Miguel and Regal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. I never know their names. Old guy one and old guy two. <laughs> Nobody has commented anymore after the last round. Because one of them left. Well, one of them came in here. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm watching. Are you watching? Puma was watching. I was watching. My phone's over there. And finally, question 10. What U.S. state is proud to call itself the Beaver State? What U.S. state is proud to call itself the Relevant. Beaver State? I like how they're doing the Tony Sperano. Where am I? Qu right. That is the end of round two. Let's go over the questions one more time in case you missed any. And I'm sorry I took so long with this round. What came out first, our idiot brother or dinner of schmucks, both with Paul Rudd? Question two, what was the slowest the bus could go without exploding in the movie Speed? Question three. In the movie Pulp Fiction, what is the name of the restaurant Mia brings Vincent to? I have both those movies on Laserdisc. Question four. The anal bum cover. Whose 2009 album is this the cover for? Just the name of the artist, not the name of the album. She should know this one. Hmm. Question five. What internet company was once called Quantum Computer Services? Movie clip from 1988. Same old story. Boy finds girl, boy loses girl, girl finds boy. Boy forgets girl, boy remembers girl. And girl dies in a tragic blimp accident over the Orange Bowl on New Year's Day. Good year? No, the worst. Oh, dear. What movie is that from? Question seven. What actor slash director debuted his own brand of beer in the late 80s called Pale Rider Ale? What popular 80s singer was born Patricia May Andrzejewski? What are the names of the two Muppet characters that heckle the rest of the cast from their balcony seats? Question 10. What U.S. state is proud to call itself the Beaver State? All right, please check your own answers. See if these are the answers you want to stick with. Again, any little bit helps. That's Venmo. That's Cash App. 
scan the thing, send money, or don't send money. It makes no difference. Just hook it up, or at least thanks for joining us. I'm going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. If you're hungry and in the mood for something extraordinary, look for this symbol. And this telephone is the fastest way to Franco's original Italian pizza day or night. If you live anywhere from Pompano to Hialeah, you can treat yourself to the best in authentic Italian dishes. Franco specializes in dishes from Antipasto to Vio Francesa, all at reasonable prices. This symbol of excellence is in Pompano, Fort Lauderdale, North Miami Beach, North Miami, and Hialeah. Franco's the king of pizza with home delivery day or night. 97 GTR, continuous rock and roll with Herman and McBean mornings. No more pop scratches and ugly black buildup for these rock and roll animals. Whoa, 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 whoa. 97 GTR, all compact disc rock and roll. Like ZZ Top. Bruce Springsteen. The Rolling Stones. Herman and McBean mornings on 97 GTR, continuous rock and roll. Ay, bendito, se le paró el carro. ¿Y eso cómo fue? No sé. Yo le había echado culan, pero se calentó. Mira, lo voy a ayudar, porque yo tengo un tremendo culan. Amale. La próxima vez échele a Amale. Este sí es un culan de calidad superior. Porque todos los culan no son iguales, ¿sabes? Amale es mejor de lo que tiene que ser. Ah, pero oiga, ¿usted no es irichaco? Sí, y de culan, yo sí sé. Exija a Amale. Tremendo culan. <risa> Why settle for some of it when you can get all of it? Get it all, get it all, get to Zare and get it all. It's got to be a knockout, so I got to Zare. It's got to last. It's got to have a name I know. So we got to Zare. Get it all, get it all. It's got to be a real value. Get to Zare and get it all. Exciting fashions, famous brands, honest quality, genuine value. Get to Zare and get it all. In Miami. Se llama Zaire. And we're back. Right, let's put these people on screen again. Oh, there we're losing Mario. We're going to do the raffle. But while he disappears. Hmm. Well, since you're standing up already. <laughs> <laughs> Here, pass these around. Where did that dinosaur come from? Oh, from my from the, the cave. The cookie cake. It was on the cave. Didn't see? I saw fire. <laughs> yeah, that's it was yeah. all I saw from here was a lot of fire. Uh-huh. <laughs> there was no raptor, I'm sorry. Oh no. No raptor. raptor. Alright, let's do the raffle. Hold on. Let's uh, click the thing. Alright, it's time to pull out your stubs. It's raffle time. I'll pull a number out of this bucket. If your number matches my number, everyone here wins. Because no, there are no tickets and it doesn't matter. So I'm going to pull the number out. And once I pull this number out, we're all going to take a shot. 297. 297. Wow, everybody won. Let's play the song. Again? Lucia. All right, shots. All right, we won, and you people at home didn't. You lucky Ooh. son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. Let's put this back on. And let's go over the answers from round two. Question one was what came out first, our idiot brother or dinner for schmucks, both with Paul Rudd? It is dinner oh. for schmucks. What was the slowest the bus could go without exploding in the movie Speed? 50 miles an hour. 50? 50. What kind of thing is that? I don't know. You talk to... Uh... <laughs> That's not fast. <laughs> That's how we drive here in Miami all the time. <laughs> well, if you went slower than that, the bus would explode. So <laughs> it would work out. You would be perfect here in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're on the Palmetto, then you just blow up immediately because yeah. it's not going anywhere. No. In the movie Pulp Fiction, what is the name of the restaurant Mia brings Vincent to? Jack Rabbit Slims. Twist contest. Ain't no bum cover. Whose 2009 album is this to cover for? That is Florence and the Machine. What internet company was once called Quantum Computer Services? Oh AOL. Oh my god, it was AOL, Mario. 
Oh, we did? Yeah, Good thing you did. It. Good thing we uh, All right, movie clip from 1988. We didn't know that. Yeah. Same old story. Boy finds girl, nice. boy loses so girl, radio. girl finds boy. Now boy forgets it. girl, yeah. boy remembers girl. And girl dies in a tragic blimp accident over the Orange Bowl on New Year's Day. Good year? No, the worst. Oh, dear. Good thing we watched The Naked Gun. <laughs> So here's the story I was going to say earlier. So the Naked Gun stars Leslie Nielsen. Mm -hmm. And as you see there, that's Priscilla Presley, Elvis Presley's uh, wife. And who else is in this movie, if you saw it? O.J. Simpson. Mm -hmm. Which I said when I, played, when I did this question in person, it was his, one of his first acting jobs, but his best acting job was the trial. <laughs> the next day, he died. <laughs> that was a Wednesday. He died on Thursday. <laughs> the next day, he Look died. Look what you did. So yeah. now, now the only uh, questionable uh, actor running around the bars here in Miami is no longer O.J. Simpson. It's Cuba Gooden Jr. Yeah. <laughs> you look. Did you look at your hands like what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> or he's a harbinger of death. Well, you didn't see my mango tree story about the O.J. Simpson. No. Yep. You saw it, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. I'll tell Ariad the story, and I guess we'll do it here. Thanks. So I was at a bar in the I would say '98, '99, more or less, whatever, in the Grove with my wife. Who, as you see, is a tall blonde woman. My wife. Tall blonde named Nikki. Uh huh. Nobody's in the bar but us. It was empty. It was a happy hour. And then OJ walks in with his little entourage and they had a little roped up area for him over there. I need to go to the bathroom. So I'm like, I don't want to leave my wife here alone while I go to the bathroom with OJ Simpson right over there. <laughs> so I told the bartender, uh, can you uh, keep an eye on her? Because uh, I, don't wanna, I don't want him having any flashbacks and freaking out and then I have to deal with this. And he said, okay, because I thought, well, her name is Nikki. That's close to Nicole. <laughs> like, N -n 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 Nicole. <laughs> that was my worry. Wow. He has a big melon, too. Oh, no. <laughs> what actor director debuted his own brand of beer in the late 80s called Pale Ra Rider Ale? Clint Eastwood. Whoa. Nice. What popular 80s singer was born? Patricia May Andrzejewski. Pat Benatar. Pat Benatar, the other one. Hit me with your best shot. What are the names of the two Muppet characters that heckle the rest of the cast from their balcony seats? <laughs> Statler and Waldorf. You have to read your answer. Yes. That's not, it's not Miguel and Rigo. It's Statler and Waldorf. With names like those, how could we forget? What, is what U.S. state is proud to call itself the Beaver State? <laughs> Oregon. Hey, beavers in Oregon. But you know what, the, you know what country is, uh, is the beaver the animal for? Oh, Canada. <laughs> Little shout out for Dollar. <laughs> Are you sure it's not meese? Is it really beaver? No, beaver is the national animal of Canada. <laughs> All right, well, these questions are worth two points each, so whatever you got right, multiply that times two. Add that to your previous score. Add that together, and that'll be your current ongoing score. Remember, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, we're at Seven Seas Bar. Friday's at the Garrison. We'll be back at Bar Nancy this Sunday. Then we got trivia next week at the uh, Garrison with K Star Wars trivia with trivia and karaoke on the same night. Start on May 1st, starting at 8 p.m. We're doing karaoke after the trivia game. It's all Star Wars themed. And we have Cinco de Mayo at the Garrison, which is on a Sunday. The first Tuesday of May, we're doing 80s night. Second Tuesday, we're doing emo night. Then the third Tuesday, we're doing classic rock night. And then the fourth Tuesday, we're doing uh, golf slash new wave night. And then every Wednesday, we're over there, except for the last Wednesday of the month, where we're back here again. All right, let's take one more quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Hey, new car. Uh, no, Maroney Certified. You're kidding. It's not new? No, it's Maroney Certified. Ma'am, we're going to have to move this new car. No. No? I mean, no, it's Maroney Certified. Introducing Maroney Certified Used Cars and Trucks from $49.95. Price, selection, and a money-back guarantee. Hey, love the new car. Thank you. Who are you going to call? Maroney! Llega la ciudad que progresa, Ariel Joyería, el que más cash paga por tu prenda, ahora también en Jayalía. Uh, 
And we're back. And we lost uh, Sarah. She's in the bathroom. She'll be back. Mm. Good thing I cleaned the bathroom today. She might find out you're Walter White. And she's coming back now. Let's wait for her to sit down, and then we'll do round three. Let me see what the sc- let me see what the scores are so far, though. Lisette 17. Uh, Felipe has 16. What do we have? 18 points for Ariel Lacere. Batidos. <laughs> I guess those are the only people playing. <laughs> Whatever. We recorded it and put it on YouTube anyway, so somebody will watch it at some point. More prizes for us. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All your prizes belong to us. Yes. All right, let's get started. Round three. Question one. What car company was named for the founder of Detroit? What car company was named for the founder of Detroit? In the meanwhile, one, two. I do have another bottle of water. Another? Yeah, we emptied one. I got another one. That's a, that's a guess. Yeah. It's the cups that are having a problem. We have. We can reuse. Just reuse recycle. There you go. Yeah. All right, question two. What bird lays its eggs in another bird's nest? What, what bird what lays its bird? eggs in another bird's nest? What a jerk. It's a jerk egg. A jerk bird, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> the audacity. <laughs> what bird is that? There's a bird lover here. It's a bad parent bird. It's I don't know, but if you stay out there, you'll see all kinds of birds. And then you'll see a cat scratch scratch a bird. <laughs> hmm. The circle of life out there. I saw you had this set up really nice. Is that my nice? What? I saw you had that set up really nice. The what? The out there with the... The screen? Mm-hmm. I'm waiting on a movie night. Me too, oh. man. When are we going to do movie night? When we figure out a good movie to watch. <laughs> we have lots of good movies. All right. I poured them all, so we can do the next question. Question three is time now to name a celebrity. I'm going to put a picture of a celebrity up there if you know who it is. Write down his real name, the character name, the description where you've seen them. N- name. Oh, not bud. Wrong bud. <laughs> name. 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 This. Name, this. Name, this. Name, this. This. Celebrity. 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 Celebrity
These are good. These are great. No complaints. I'm going through like yeah. I suck at those. Just think of. That's I why can't. people write it down and then they move on. No. And as I move along, they keep working on it. I can't. That's why everybody comes ra- uh, running and asking for scratch paper. And hmm. All right, I'm moving on. Question six. What was the first country to make broadband internet access a legal right? What was the first country to make broadband internet access a legal right? You know, technically, right now, we have more people here than we had at the season. <laughs> oh. <laughs> at least the first hour. <laughs> wow. Ooh. I'm gonna see. If you had Miguel, too, when he was here. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, Conductor is like, I sing so many songs. <laughs> <laughs> and he left early. He ran out of songs. He ran out of songs. He had no more in him to do any more. <laughs> he had to leave. <laughs> All right, question seven. What if Freud called the female counterpart of the Oedipus complex? What if Freud called the female counterpart of the Oedipus complex? I know. This song is called Circus by Media. Circus. Media Circus. <laughs> at, at, at least the, the little tags they put on the screen here don't, don't seem to work out for them. <laughs> All right, question eight. Coprostasophobia is the fear of what? Mm. Coprostasophobia is the fear of what? Why do you seem so confident about that one? I know. <laughs> no, I don't know that one. <laughs> Makes me question. Why do you know what it is? I know what it is. But do you know it? <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> Miguel knows what it is. Well, he was at the trivia game. This game came. This question came up. And so. I don't know. I just saw you grab the paper and start writing it all. Yeah. <laughs> like wow, you know that? <laughs> all right. Question nine. Who was the first Hispanic woman elected to the U.S. House of Representatives? Who was the first Hispanic woman elected to the U.S. House of Representatives? That girl. Ooh. <laughs> that kind of girl. All right, all right, I, I shouldn't sing that too long. I might get covered. <laughs> <laughs> the FBI shows up. Get out of here. Shut it down. <laughs> I thought it was the recent lady. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. All right, and finally, question 10. Last question of tonight's game. Something a local history news or facts, and because we had to do a tribute. Bob Graham's popular work days started after he taught a semester of civics in which local high school? Bob Graham's popular work day started after he taught a semester of civics in which local high school? Still consider him the best governor and best senator the state has ever had. Leave party affiliation out of it. And he created the city of Mammy Lakes. Him and his family. Family still owns most of it. All right, that is the end of round three. Let's go over the questions one more time in case you missed any. Question one was, what car company was named for the founder of Detroit? Question two, what bird lays its eggs in other birds' nests? The Carao. <laughs> the Carao bird. <laughs> the Carao bird. Name this celebrity. <laughs> Question four, what additional part does someone with polyorganism have? Wear a jumbo, five on the top, eight on the bottom. Those are the letters. I'm not a hill, Dan. Actress female. Question six, what was the first country to make broadband internet and access a legal right? And seven, what if Freud called the female counterpart to the Oedipus complex? Question eight, coprostosophobia is the fear of what? 
Question nine, who is the first Hispanic woman elected to U.S. House of Representatives? And question 10, Bob Graham's popular work day started after he taught a semester of civics in what local high school? All right, please check your own answer sheet, see if these are the answers you want to stick with. Remember, you can hook it up. That's the Venmo, that's the Cash App, scan things, send money, or don't send money. It doesn't make a difference. At least you're here, you're watching. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. The largest Toyota sale. He's never going to be done. Um, up here, up here. Folks, if we only have a couple of seconds. Would you get it ready, please? Come on, man. Go. Oh, I'm Paul Castronovo. This is Young Ron Brewer from 94.9 Zeta. Catch our morning show weekdays starting at 6. I remember the only way to hear our very local, informative, and an entertaining program is to listen to 94.9 Zeta. That's... Don't forget about the animal displays. Oh, yeah. We promise no more live animal displays because last Thanksgiving we messed up a turkey really bad. Good. Yeah. I know it. <laughs> And we're back. All right, let's pass these around. So whoever can reach them. Round three. I'll take care of it. Pass around. You take one down. You pass it around. Five shots of Ye of Jameson. <laughs> Let's do this. Which is... All right, it's time to pull out your stubs. It's raffle time. I'll pull a number out of this bucket, and once I pull it out, everyone here wins. Let's see what we got this time. Did we win again? Everybody wins. Everybody here no wins. Way. No way we win again. There's no way that we no. win. 295. 295. All right, everybody wins. We won again. We did? Yes. Wow. Oh, All right, everybody, shots. Oh, the camera's over here. All right, we won, and you people at home didn't. You lucky son of a bitch. Ah, that last one hit me. <laughs> that flea market is no longer around. It closed it down. All right, let's go over the answers after round three. What car company was the name for the founder of Detroit? Cadillac. Cadillac. <laughs> to what bird lays its eggs in other birds' nests? Let's find out. Cuckoo. Fucking the asshole. cuckoo bird. The asshole bird. These asshole birds. That's why they're cuckoo. They're cuckoo. All right, so you name this celebrity. This one's obvious. It's Ian McGregor or Jesus. He has written. He has risen. <laughs> this was after the Easter, East, the Wednesday after Easter. That's why it was in the trivia game. <laughs> what additional part does someone with polyorganism have? A testicle. I now, this was the safest picture I could find to put here. What do you do? Look not look up polyorganism <laughs> and do this image search. I ended up looking up uh, Easter eggs more than two. <laughs> Easter yeah, because you don't want to see what comes up in your Google search if you do polyorganism. <laughs> All right, we're at Jumbo. Five on the top, eight on the bottom. Those are the letters. It is Linda Hamilton. Oh, no. Big mm -hmm. bang. So close. What was the first country to make <laughs> broadband internet access a legal right? Finland. Oh, nice. What did Freud call the female counterpart to the Oedipus <laughs> complex? The Electra complex. Oh. The Electra yeah, Complex. That, 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 like so whenever you see a young girl with an older guy, it's an Electra Complex. Mm. Mm. Especially a much older guy. Coprastasophobia. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if you know anybody who has it. Like Corporations? <laughs> Coprastasophobia is the fear of what? Fear of constipation. I don't do my job as well when I'm constipated. <laughs> Was that you earlier? What? Huh? No, it's the opposite. Uh. <laughs> All 
Like I said, don't don't have the uh, Caesar salad from Publix. No. <laughs> Who's the first Hispanic woman elected to you the U.S. House of Representatives? Ileana Ross Littleton. Oh, I, <laughs> uh, I gotta do it the way Neil Rogers do. Ileana Ross Littleton. <laughs> Technically, that's where that comes from. <laughs> It's a whole long thing with that. And then they cut it down to just that. All those Neil Rogers sound bites eventually started as some one thing and then turned into something else. <laughs> like about 30 Man was actually a whole bit about uh, Elian, uh, Eliandro Gonzalez's father coming to the United States and listening to Insane going, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> about 30 Man. <laughs> and they cut those into little bits and put them on the show. All right. Bob Graham's popular work day started after he taught a semester of civics in which local high school? In Carroll City. Miami, Carroll City, Senior High. Wow. All right. These questions are worth five points each or whatever you got right. Multiply that times five. Add that to your previous score. Post that in the comments. Remember, we're at Seven Seas Bar Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. We're at the Garrison on Fridays. We'll be at the uh, Bar Nancy this Sunday. I got uh, trivia and karaoke next Wednesday over at the Garrison with Star Wars trivia. May the first order. Then I got Cinco de Mayo the Sunday after that. We got the first Tuesday of the month of the month will be 80s night. The second Tuesday will be emo night. The third Tuesday will be classic rock night. And the fourth Tuesday will be golf slash new wave night. And trivia is normally at the garrison on Wednesdays, except for the last Wednesday of the month, which we do it here at the house. And obviously you never know who might show up. Dude, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. All right, let's take one more commercial break and we'll be right back. You know why I come to Lum's Good Buddy? They grill the steaks just perfect. And the fish fry dinner is so tender and delicious. I love the juicy roast beef sandwich piled high with that thinly sliced roast beef. I like it when Mommy and Daddy take me to Lum's. The burgers are great. <laughs> you and your kids get a better choice when you choose Lum's. You get a choice. You get a better choice when you choose Lum's. Compact disc sale of the year. Thousands of titles for only $8.99. All types of music. Rock, country, soul, jazz, classical, vocal, big band, pop, hundreds of artists. Something for everyone. CDs for only $8.99. Come into Peaches now while the best selection's available. And we're back. All right, everybody's there. All right, let's see what the scores are. Yeah, hey, put thirty-five. Felipe put thirty-one. He said the thirty-seven. So I guess he said the wins. Unless somebody else post anything else. So, well, that's that's the scores I have in front of me. Probably toughest final round I've been a part of. Well, you should come in person and be a part of one of those when you come back from Orlando. So as far as I'm concerned, everybody's winners, these four and everybody online and whoever watches this later. Remember, you can follow us at True Miami on Facebook, Instagram, and well, I'm going to get rid of Twitter. Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck X. <laughs> Search for True Miami on YouTube, which actually now you can do YouTube.com slash at True Miami. That's a new thing. I forgot to change this, but before they didn't give me a, my own little handle. Remember, you can hook it up. That's the Venmo. That's the Cash App. You know, scan, send. Whatever you can. If not, don't. Don't worry about it. As always, thoughts and prayers to Linda. Poor Linda is still dealing with Alan over at the Grove. I haven't seen him in years, but I still feel so sorry for Linda for having to still deal with him. I know he's still around and he's still being a pain in the fucking ass, that Irish prick. And as always, like we like to say, Fuck Hector! Fuck Hector! Fuck Hector! Fuck Hector! Fuck Hector! I saw Hector not that long ago. He was at Caesar. No, no, that's a different Hector. Oh. Hector from that place. When you went to... Uh, when I snuck into that place <laughs> and made my appearance, I made sure to grab Hector from behind and hug him. And he freaked out. I'm like, ah! And then the general manager snuck into the other room and the bartender who doesn't talk to me ran off that way. I'm like, well, fuck you all, you know? <laughs> and fuck Hector. And fuck Hector. At least Hector said hi to me. Feliz cumpleaños, Ariel. Feliz cumpleaños, Ariel. Remember Star Wars trivia? 
Hopefully everybody can join me on Star Wars night over there. Well, Star Wars night is the fourth, but we're, that's a Saturday. So Star Wars is the first for us. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, don't go to any place that has the facial hair of a president. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know who is there? Gusta ir ahí? Fuck that place. You know who is there? Fuck that guy. ¿Cómo le gusta ir ahí? <laughs> Have you noticed that it's the month, uh, uh, that month that I decided to quit the whole emo thing? His month. Mm. 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 I, got, I got an emo king not showing up. Well, fuck it. Well. I always wanted to rotate the whole thing anyway. I'll do it now. He was always the I worst emo king. Well, no. The, the worst is one other one, but I'm not going to say his name. And as always, the last Wednesday of the month, we'll see what group we gather. They're two, three, four, or the three from Hylia, or whatever okay. happens next Everyone. month. Everyone. Just bring it. I don't know. I don't have room for that. <laughs> <laughs> but the no watch will just be here. <laughs> All right. Let's always. I'm going to let Cox on the radio sign us off. Have yourself a real nice day. And if you want to smile some, listen to Power 96.